Local governors and senior military officials push for opium monopoly. Shanghai, the gateway to China. We all came here to make our fortune in a city full of contradictions, a place of light and shadow. But there are two sides to a medal. For private detectives like us, this city is literally paradise after the fall of man. The disappearance of a young woman is our first case. But this case is anything but crystal clear. All we know is that on the night of the disappearance, she was going to meet a Russian guy in one of those fancy bars by the river, close to a church. Unfortunately, we don't know the name of the bar. As we walked through the busy streets and circulated thoughts, a bar near the river, close to the church. Hell, which one of them many bars here could it be, huh? We don't have time to go around them all one by one, so we have no choice but to dig deeper and do some research. Luckily, we always have our good old travel guide with us, which not only lists, shall we say, the usual sites of Shanghai, but as we flick through the pages, we quickly find the right bar. The Roxy Nightclub. A chic club close to the river and the church. Bingo. The Roxy itself is not the place you would expect to find a red. No one we asked wants to have seen the woman. Of course not. Now, when we're about to leave the club, a young Chinese man slips us a note and in elegant handwriting it says, if you want to know the truth, meet me in Garden Bridge at 11 p.m. Shanghai, a new wave of crime sweeps across the city. Even at night, the area around Garden Bridge is never unpopulated, but a woman immediately catches our eye. Cigarette smoke waves over her face. Her expression changes all of a sudden. And with a smile, she now looks at us and speaks in a soft voice. Please trust me. But we all know in Shanghai, trust no one. Welcome to Shanghai.